Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Elite Nurse Lifestyle, where we discuss all things fashion, but most importantly, fragrances. If this is your first time here and you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe. And for all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for continuing to watch. Today, we are going to do some of the fragrances that I have just been reaching for. You know, this fall, um, as we head into winter pretty soon, these fragrances have just been like in heavy rotation, right? And so I'm going to share with you some of these irresistible fragrances that I have just been rotating quite heavily this season. And so guys, if you would like to know what these fragrances are, stick around. I got you. The very first fragrance, guys, is this just beautiful but unique fragrance that I got over a year, maybe two, year, two years now, and it is just so intoxicating and irresistible this time of year. And so every time it comes to the fall and winter, I'm reaching for this fragrance. It's from the House of BDK and it is Gris Charnel. Guys, this is just a beautiful, woody, warm, aromatic but green fragrance it's it has this beautiful fig note and I'm usually not a huge fan of fig in my fragrances but this one is done so well it has some cardamom in the top note as well as this black tea which I think gives it like this greenness in the fragrance but it is just so addictive it ha and there's also like the sandalwood in the base that gives it this creaminess on the dry down as well guys it has some tonka bean for some added sweetness just a beautiful fragrance for this time of year it's so cozy and i feel as though you know this fragrance definitely um I would say sample before you buy because of that greenness and the fig note as well as the cardamom. I don't think it's one of those uh, fragrances that, you know, it's going to be mass appealing. But to me, the scent is so addictive. It's beautiful for this time of year. And if you have not smelled this one, guys, check it out. It's BDK Gris Charnel. Stunning. Guys, this next one, if you've been you know, following me for a while, you know I love this one. This is just, when it comes to this time of year, this is going to always be in rotation. I love it that much. It's Side Effect from the House of Initio. This one, guys, it has this sweetness. It has this booziness from um, this rum note uh, in the fragrance. It is warm. It's spicy. It's ambery. It's got the rum, it has some vanilla, there's the tobacco, which gives it like this touch of sexiness, but the tobacco is not overpowering. And then it has some cinnamon for that added spice and just, oh God, I just, I just love this fragrance, guys. Y'all know I'm not going to rant and rave because if you've been following me for a while, you know how much I love this scent and this fragrance. So guys, side effect from the house of of Initio. This has just been in heavy rotation for me when it comes to fall and going into the winter. This is going to be one of those fragrances that is going to, it's going to be a staple. So yeah. The next fragrance guys is a fragrance that I've had samples of this fragrance forever. Okay. It's quite pricey like most fragrances from this house. But this one is just so beautiful for this time of year. And I was just like, I want it. I want it. And it's none other than Fifth Avenue from the House of Fragrance Dubois, guys. When I tell you, I just got this like a month ago now. And it has been in heavy rotation. For me, it's just the rose. Y'all know I have a thing for rose, right? <laughs> For, from a person who was never a big lover of rose, over the years, um, you know, with the, niche, with the niche fragrances, they've just done rose in this just absolutely well-blended, beautiful quality. It's not that green, 
you know, fresh off the branch <laughs> rose. It's a more quality rose. So this fragrance, guys, it's just so beautiful. Like I said, I've had samples for a while and I finally took the plunge and got the full bottle, right? So this one, guys, it has the rose and then it has like this caramel note, which gives this sweetness to it as well as a violet note. And it gives it this powdery essence to the fragrance. And then in the base, there's some cashmere wood, there's some vanilla, some Gaiac wood, and musk. So it has some woodiness as well as that musk note. So it's a beautiful balance of sweet as well as woody and musky. It is so stunning. It's right up my alley. It's me in a bottle and it is just perfect for this time of year. It's been in heavy rotation. Um, these past few weeks and I just absolutely love it. Get your nose on it. Fifth Avenue from the House of Fragrance de Bois. This next one, guys, is a recent acquisition. It's ab for about a month now, right? I have seen the girlies on TikTok rave about this fragrance and I was just like, hmm, let me try a sample. And I had a sample um, uh, sent to me and when I tell you, I was so impressed. I was so impressed. Rosendo Mateo number no. five. This one, guys, it's described as a floral, amber, sensual musk. Everything that I love about a fragrance, right? So it's florally, it, it has this ambery quality to the fragrance and it's warm, spicy, a little powdery. The, the main thing that I noticed about it is, you know, and I've heard people say this throughout, you know, my, my research, they've said there is this tire, like a burnt tire quality to the fragrance. And yes, I definitely get that in the opening. It is so unique, but I think that's what makes this fragrance so sex, so sexy and sensual as well. And so I've just been having a great time wearing this fragrance. It's been in heavy rotation. It has, it's just so unique guys. I don't have anything in my collection that smells like this and I am just loving it. Some of the notes in the fragrance, um, it has some spices, some exotic floral notes, as well as some, um, Carnation, Lily of the Valley, there's some amber and vanilla as well as musk in the base. But overall, what I get is the ambery um, ness of the fragrance, the musk, and oh, yeah, it's sexy. It is sexy. And so it's been heavy, it's been in heavy rotation for me. Check it out. Rosendo Mateo number no. five. It's a good one. This next fragrance, guys, and the last fragrance that we're going to talk about that has been in heavy rotation for me um, is a newer fragrance to my collection, and it is from the House of Zerzhov, and it is Ivory Root. I am so happy to have this in my collection, guys. The first person I heard spoke about this was Demi, and she always says how it's one of her favorite fragrances. And I was just like curious about it. And I saw it for a great deal. I think it was on Saks and they were having a discount. And I was just like, let me get that fragrance and see what it's all about. Cause it sounds like something that I would love. You know, it's warm, it's spicy, it's woody. It has um, like this balsamic quality to it, right? Um, and I know with like Zerzhov from all the other fragrances that I have from this house, it usually has great projection, great longevity, no issues there, right? And it was definitely, it definitely lived up to all the hype about it. And so this one, guys, it has some spicy notes. There's some sandalwood. There is some allspice, which gives it like this spiciness, you know. Um, there's patchouli as well as basil in the fragrance. It is definitely unique. It is, um, it's one of those fragrances that I'm going to tell you, definitely get a sample before you buy it. And, um, 
I found myself these past couple of weeks just reaching for it because of that. I, you know, I love, this is my scent profile. I love the ambery kind of fragrances, the musky kind of fragrances with a little bit of sweetness as well. And so this is a great scent for this time of year. And I'm I think I'm going to really enjoy it, especially when the, the winter comes along. But this one, guys, it's a great fragrance. I think I'm really going to enjoy this, especially, um, you know, towards the winter month because it is definitely um, a heavy fragrance. It's going to give you the projection, the sillage, and everything like that. And so, guys, that is my list of fragrances that I have had in heavy rotation this month. And I wanted to share those with you. Let me know which one of these fragrances you're interested in or which ones are your favorite. And until next, until next time, thanks for watching.